Hi everyone. Welcome back to Anita's Joint. Hashtag Extended Joint. Where every day is payday, baby. You're tuned in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl, Needle Flying High. I'm going to get the audio on here shortly. But, okay. <clears throat> Houston, Houston, Jesus. USA versus New Zealand. This is the second match. I already recapped the first match. So I didn't watch it, but they're playing in New Zealand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the audio on for y'all real quick. Um, they're playing in New Zealand. Um, USA won the first leg 4-0. And this is the second leg they played um, a couple days after. I got to see who's out here. Looks like um, Morgan. Oh, that's Hatch. Look, Hatch right here. Ashley Hatch. Uh... But yeah, let me light the candle as well. I uh, hope everyone's well. Okay. So, this is already a good opportunity. <laughs> already good opportunity. Good chances. Good chances for USA. Um, a little bit. Sullivan back in the side today, pushing that one forward down the left and... Mallory Swanson giving chase. So my thing is about this, as uh, you see in the corner, it's HBO Max. Okay. Like, I don't have HBO Max, so it's like, I don't even know. It kind of makes me mad that, like, yes, we're ha we're getting a lot of um, more access to the ladies' game. But, like, with USA and the USA men, U the USA men and women, they're, they're signed with HBO Max now. So it's just like, I'm not going to... I'm, I don't want to pay for HBO when I don't even use that channel and I'm watching a football match so this kind of just it just shows you the monopoly right about them wanting you to pay for another subscription like I don't even watch TV nowadays like I don't even watch TV like that why would I even it's like Netflix I already use Paramount at least they got more leagues and H like HBO. I mean, I don't know what, what was USA Soccer thinking. Oh yeah, we're gonna sign with HBO because they're gonna give us the most money uh, to be able to watch um, USA. And this is not good. I mean, honestly, we know that the World Cup, thank goodness, won't be hosted with HBO. I think Fox and all that. I don't know why they. I'm thinking USA just partnered with the money. I don't know who. I, they HBO must have made the biggest bid. But to be honest, as an observer, um, HBO Max is the last place I'm looking to watch the USA Women's National Team uh, because one, it's it's not a sports channel, and to most TV subscriptions, if you have regular, most of the time people have Roku's and Fire Sticks. We're not or Netflix. We're not. You know what I'm saying? It's, I just don't like that. But anyways, I don't even want to like. I'm just like, what the what? I wanted to say this in my recap, but I had forgot. But yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't know. It's kind of because it's just like I want to watch USA Live, but. How many people even that watch USA or how many people that watch, you know, football, just the ladies in general have HBO Max? Let me know. Let me know. Do you have HBO Max a part of your TV subscription? If you do, okay. But if you don't, like, what the fuck? Like, you, you're in the same boat as me. You're like, you would think they would have just signed with Paramount, like, because into themselves with Paramount. Wouldn't you just go there? But USA, as you see, these corporations are so diverse. Oh, my goodness. Like, it's just like, what the fuck? I, so, it's like, man, I want to get out the, the, the 3D right quick and just get real life. And, 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 and uh, but, um, I hope you understand where I'm coming from, my frustrations. It's like, the ladies game is taking off, but now they're making, now they're like, okay, but now you're going to pay more. Like, if you want to get HBO, and the ladies play, like, what, twice, maybe twice a month? It's four... I'm done. I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm done talking about it. I already said what I had to say. H USA, y'all. USA Soccer, whoever, and HBO Max, whoever had that deal, it's awful. It's awful towards the consumers. Cause I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't. Now I know. Now I'm thinking like, when am I gonna catch USA Live? Cause I'm not gonna watch them on HBO Max. I have TNT and TBS. These still aren't sports channels, but this is who they they decided to partner with. And so it's honestly, it's just ridiculous. To, 
I, sometimes I hate living in, on Earth. Like, I just, it's just, sometimes it's just too much. Sometimes it's just too much. This reality that we live in is flunked out. This reality. Yeah, actually, actually, Sanchez down here right now. But, um, you know, we're in such great times for women's football. And especially in America, because we're getting to see, you know, them kind of go through some changes. And now it's like, now we're going to have limited access to the ladies because of... Uh, what do you call it? How they present them based upon. It's been a day, y'all. It's been a day. And it's only. It's only 10.42. But anyways, I hope y'all are well. So let's see. Looks like Swanson's out there. Looks like um, Sanchez is out there. Hatch is out there. I'm trying to figure out who else is out here for USA. I think I saw uh, Sullivan back here. Sullivan, and then uh, this looks like Crystal Dunn out here. Um, Gurma, right? Gurma, Crystal Dunn, Alana Cook, Rose Lavelle. I'm trying to see who's right there. Is that Emily Fox? I'm not too sure who's playing right here on the. Uh, this side. Who is this right here? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that with the ball? I <laughs> but New Zealand, man, it's it's tough. You know, I'm thinking about New Zealand. You know. Hopefully we get to see some of their players shine just to see how they're doing. It looks like they're playing a 4-3-3. Same with USA. Um, but um, New Zealand's gonna have three opportunities to. See, well, this is they're gonna have one more opportunity to see America, of course, and that's gonna be um, here once again. I'm not too sure if it's this exact stadium, but they're gonna play USA in a group stage for the World Cup. And like I was saying in, I think, some of the other, I think it was the video where I did, like, USA's best striker isn't even a part, hasn't even got called up to the national team yet, aka me official from Tigas. But, um, I had said that, um, man, New Zealand, uh, you have three chances and in a way you're lucky. You know, you're giving a lot of people film to be able to see how USA are going to play. If this could be a starting lineup for the World Cup for the team. Um, also, uh, you see right there, it kind of goes to a back five right there too. It's very interesting, um, USA. Uh, but Crystal Dunn's back, um, so we know she was coming back after she made her comeback um, with Portland. Um... Okay, who else is out here? I'm trying to figure out. See, see more names. So, it looks like a uh, corner kick for um, four corner. Yeah, Ashley Hatch. Okay, good pass, good pass. Is this, um, I don't know why I want to say this is Rodman, but don't quote me on that. Great pass to Sanchez here. Getting up top. So San and Sanchez is a player I enjoy. Well, she gives me, um, in a way, Ella Toon and like, um, she's like kind of like a, a similar player to like Ella Toon, potential wise. Um, uh, but she's a very, she's a creator. She's a midfielder. She's like a Rose Lavelle too. I get vibes like that. Rose Lavelle. She may be more attacking minded, or they may be just they have similar. But Rose, of course, is very technical. And we see Ashley Sanchez with Washington. She's still young, uh, and but she has uh, a lot of influence in creating, and she has really good chemistry with a lot of her teammates that we get to see. Um, they gel off her pretty well. But I'm trying to see who else is on the field. Who? Oh, this must be Horta. Is this Horta here? But don't quote me on that. I can't. I can't really tell. I need to make it bigger. I don't know. And then, like I said, I don't really have the I don't have the audio on to hear anything, so I just have to go off the images, my own vibe. You know, say so this is esoteric. Vibe. These are the vibes that I'm in currently, in the football match. I I like to pick up the I try to I pick up the energy based upon <clears throat> what I see in the match, and so when I watch it, I'm not hearing their commentary. It's all about what I know based upon my observations, based upon how much I've accumulated. I would say based upon tuning into a USA and just knowing the knowledge that I have based upon. Oh my god, I gotta find another word. Based upon. Based upon, based upon, based upon. But it's real shit. 
It's real shit. It's real shit. It's real life. Can't help it. Can't help it. But yeah, a lot of cook here. Yeah. And then also, I mean, it was very difficult. Nobody really had this stream. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really had a stream for this match because it was on HBO Max. It was like, goddamn. So, like, it's taking it. It's been a minute. Like, I haven't seen USA. I've seen the highlights. Some of the highlights. But I was like, I want the full match. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how the ladies actually are playing. Like, how they actually played. Like, the full 90. Hopefully, uh, well, of course, the Sheep Elite Cup, hopefully that's not going to be on fucking HBO Max. Uh, we should be able to get that baby on. Jeez, oh, fingers crossed. Accessible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's accessible. Accessible. There we go. Um... Yeah, so Rose Lavelle, Ashley Hatch, Ashley Sanchez, Gurma, Dunn, Quarta, Sullivan, um, uh, who else is out here? Uh, who's our goalkeeper? Who this? I don't even recognize the goalkeeper. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who our goalkeeper? Oh my gosh, I have not watched America in a long time. I feel like they haven't played in a long time. Last couple of starts, she lost against Spain and Germany. And I think, Luke, if you're is this is Zealand, is, no is that Swanson over there? So but I'm pretty sure that's not her number, though. No, yeah, that's what I say. That's Swanson right here. That's what. But who's number 25? I, who that? Is that Lynn Williams? There's no way. She doesn't rock the 25, does she? Really, this is a depleted New Zealand lineup. You want to stay compact. You don't want this game to open up. You want to pick your moments where you can press, as they just did almost successfully against the United States in their own box. A lot of but speed on the field. You know what I'm saying? Map, a lot. Like, the USA have, um, are going to just have crazy pace now. Like, oh, it looks like that does look like Lynn Williams, though. You don't have the legs, you don't have the She's back. Um... Yeah, USA is gonna be has a lot of pace now. Okay, wide open here. The shot taken, and it's a on the side netting. Oh my goodness, she's really wide open here on the outside of the box here, at Sullivan. And so um, Sullivan, you know, she plays for I think she plays for Washington, right? Washington. Let me blow up my candle. Okay, we lit the candle for you know solar plexus sock the solar plexus chakra. That's, you know, the star, that's the flame that's lit within you. Make sure that stays lit. Make sure, you know, this is your internal glow. This is internally, nothing external. Uh, so always remember, there's a light that shines bright within you, uh, like the sun. So we're going to blow it out also for, you know, the energy world peace. And getting up the system. She felt there was too much side to side in game one. Black Coandadon getting up the system. Showed him that scene. Uh, but yeah, actually, had you know, shout to the Jimmy. You know what I mean? Shout to the Jimmy. Um, uh, who else out here? It was a dream. Girl, she's a Gemini too. I forgot. She certainly made it. Yeah, our whole, you think about our back line, a lot of, bro, you would say it's good, like, no, no, fit, no, you know how, oh my God. I, I, you know how they said, you know, I hate to be so 3D, y'all, I hate to be so 3D, but it's like, USA is is getting like blacker, like, <laughs> I have to say, USA is getting more African American football players, and um, there's like an influx, a part of the U.S. national team. So I, you know, it, it, I think that's great to see, because uh, we see a lot of national teams where um, you know the diversity is there in their country, but it's not shown on their team, like England. Uh, and, and even it, you could even say France, but just on the flip side, you know, it's more you know African American people. But like I said, these are all 3D aspects we're talking about, and I, I we don't live on I don't live on 3D. But based upon it being sports, we talk about race and nationalities because that's the system that they're in. You know what I mean? But based upon prior USA's team, this is the blackest I've seen it. Like, you got Mal Swanson now, Ashley Hatch, you have Gurma, you have Dunn, you have Alana Cook, you have Macario, you have... Oh, no, you know what I'm saying? 
yeah, we got a lot more. Like, I'm like, damn. Like, you know, you got Purse, you got Lynn Williams. Like, come. Like, Trinity Rodman. Like, I'm like, nah. Like, it's, there's a lot of sisters out here now. I'm just like, mm. When you look around a player and go, wait, where is that? But, um, you know, of course, they're all, you know, very young players. Players that we are, even Sophia Smith, you know what I'm saying? Very young players that we're going to get to see develop. And honestly, I'm very excited about America, you know, coming through a lot of exponential talent that we're about to just be exposed to through the USA team, you know. And um, honestly, it's... Um, refreshing to see faces that look like me out here on the field you know what i'm saying like that's why i like to watch you know france and you know teams like that because you know it's really nice to be seen or represented or whatever based upon you know, we're talking about 3d football that we're talking about 3d but since i'm gonna get up out that that space because that's that's a lot of separatism uh energy but anyways yeah usa really happy you know what I'm saying? Uh, especially off those two matches, uh, they lost. Well, I know they beat, they lost to Germany. They won, they won, they lost to Spain, and then they won, I guess, to Germany on the comeback. So based upon these last matches, USA looked like a totally different team, right? But then they're facing a, a, a lesser foe, in, in, in essence. And then the, the big test is going to be the Chivalese Cup when we get to see Canada, Brazil, and Japan, right? So exciting. Three good teams, um, two World Cup champions, World, oh, well, one Japan and America, and then we have Canada, the gold medal winners, and Brazil. I think Brazil probably won a gold medal before. But yeah, Brazil, an up and coming team, uh, um, especially with Pia now uh, as the captain. So really, that's gonna be a really that's gonna be the test for America. Of course, this is just a warm up. You know what I'm saying? No. These, are, this, these two matches are just like ah, we're kind of just gonna have to show you like how. My thing is like, was there no one else? Like my New Zealand. Did you? I mean, like, did you? Could you not call anybody else? Like you're playing in front of your home crowd and you want to call America? Really? Like you could have played anybody else, but you want to play America? Damn, yeah, you're not gonna win. Like, oh my goodness, what are y'all trying to do? But like, and here's the thing, America's not the best in the world anymore. A lot of these ladies out here on the field really still have to prove themselves to me now because this isn't the same team that won the World Cup last year, right? A lot of these, some of these players, I'm not saying a lot of them, but some of them, you know, they have, uh... We do have the veterans like Crystal Dunn, Morgan, who else is out here? I think Swanson, uh, Sullivan. I'm trying to figure out. We it may be like 50-50. 50-50 went to the last World Cup. 50 is gonna be their first World Cup. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and so, um, still very inexperienced USA team. I it's still very inexperienced based upon. Uh, it is. Swanson will take this it's, one quickly. Into the team match. is still young and you know Swanson, try to drive they're gonna the they're line. gonna lay it on the line every match that they play and continue and to prove themselves the you know on the, on the football field and, and try to and beat the foes but I do think this will be America's most talented uh this this generation of uh american footballers is going to be the most talented of course because we're evolving just in general so the quality of game is only getting better so this will be the most talented american team now how fast will this gel together to be able to win a world cup we shall see um looking at this lineup i don't mind it it's a lot of young heads a lot of young players out here like you know what fuck it we gonna go here ball you know what i'm saying look how many like like how many veterans are out here quote unquote how many like do you recognize like do you reckon like how many veterans are actually out here i say crystal dunn ah now it's like still young you know what i'm saying i'm still young sullivan's still young but like how many how who are who is the OGs right here on the field right now? I say maybe Hortha. I say Crystal Dunn. Sullivan coming on at half time for But you know, Mal's out there too, Lynn and Sullivan and uh I'm trying to think who else is out here. But everyone else is honestly like you're like, okay, well fuck, that's all. And when you're trying to slow things down, that's not the way to do it by putting the ball straight out of the United States here. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> let me share this on Twitter too. Let me share this on. 
Done in space down the left side and manages to keep that. I'm done. Ball <laughs> <in play. laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's that's funny. I guess they live in their best life. They live in their best life. Alright, let me go ahead and share this. Just done here. Getting it done. You already know. She pointed. Yeah, and then she was like, yeah, okay, you saw that. <laughs> oh, let me uh, go ahead and uh, share. Well, the U.S. men's national team will be in action a couple of times. Next match? Better be, oh, it's USA. Not, I mean, it's not USA, it's USA men. Thank goodness, I uh, would say. From the home of Angel City FC and LAFC and Anthony Hudson, who is taking the Yeah, that's so, it, it's. That game will be joining us on the halftime show here. Tonight. Pure two. And right, green. Out towards Anton on the far side. All the way across <laughs> for Ali Green. Who steps past that challenge of Rodman. And Trinity Rodman did well there to get a foot in. New Zealand's uh, fans were hoping for a free kick, but Rodman defended it well and now goes back in the opposite direction. And Blanco Andonovsky has been saying that is one area where he's looking for Trinity Rodman to continue the learning and the improvement in terms of that defensive play and he felt that he got what he wanted from her in, in that respect the other night and it was a good learning experience because the pressure wasn't coming too often it, it gave a little more time for her to process it and, and her uh. too and there you see her winning that ball back for them that's one thing that he said has been a huge emphasis in her game but the little ball through here and Rodman will get onto the end of it. Hatch is there in the middle. It's Hatch with the chance. Ooh, it's in the back of the net. Let's go. The late replacement in the start. 21 minutes. Why or have I been just talking shit for that long? Let me know. Let me know. Go. 21 minutes. Actually, Hatch gets it in. And like I said, when we saw Ashley Hatch last season, not last season, the prior season, because she had uh, 10 plus goals. Uh, here, here, here's 21. Who, I think that's Lynn Williams. And so that's, uh, I'm trying to figure out who even shot that. Was that Swanson or was that Hatch? I'm thinking Hatch. She's claiming it. Well, yeah, Ashley Hatch, she had, um, lots of goals and uh, she earned her call up and, um, you know, also helped, uh, Washington Spirit go on and win that championship too. So, Oh, okay, that's 25. That's Rodman. I wasn't too sure. I was like, I, mean, I, I wasn't too sure. So you see a lot of the young Washington players. You got Ashley Sanchez, Ashley Hatch, Trinity Rodman. You know, that's that Washington core that infinitely is super great to see on the field. Um, and those three players are super great to see always. Um, I, I enjoy watching. Hey. Well, she's doing that in these two games. Aria and uh, Un Unesengora. Thank y'all for following. Appreciate y'all. Hey, Re Revolo Deportes rated you with a party of 216. Hey, shout out to the raid. I'm still not sure what that is, but shout out to everyone that's coming through. We're watching USA versus New Zealand. This is the match um, USA played here in New Zealand as well. Uh, America once again will be playing. Um, America will be playing uh, New Zealand in the World Cup. Okay, in the World Cup. Nice, 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 nice. Shout out to y'all. But anyways, it's very interesting. How does that that raid even happen? Like people just like you just click on. You know what I'm <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Yeah, so Washington core with Ashley Sanchez, Ashley Hatch, and Trinity Rodman. Uh, and think about it. I think it's, I think it's funny because Ashley Sanchez and... Uh, I'm sorry. Trinity Rodman and Ashley Hatch are, of course, playing the, the striker well, up top with Swanson. Uh, but the core with... With Washington, it's two Geminis and then also a Piscean energy. So we got that good energy right there. It's very, and they have great chemistry. They have good energy together. It's really well. Um, Rodman watching the replays of the first uh, match and the highlights. Man, she can play left 
all right when she assisted um i forgot who she assisted she she was on the right side but ended up crossing the ball with her left so she's very multi uh, of course you know it's really great to be dual be good at both feet uh you know what i'm saying but ramen has a has a keen eye and of course she's pacey and think about it sophia smith and trinity rodman are both parent are both children of former basketball players legends right so in a way they already kind of been lived this life based upon their dads being you know professional uh athletes and so this is i don't think we've had uh this in a while too on the usa team how many years have we i mean when you think about the the prior usa teams how many former nba basketball players did we had or former in former um i guess i say fucking a have players that whose parents were former athletes on the same you know and this is like right now with rodman and 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 uh, smith Oh, this should be a goal. Ooh, that was a big save. <clears throat> Sanchez. Unlucky. But yeah, we haven't really had that uh, in a while. When I look at the USA team, a lot of the people older, when you look at the older USA team, another, it doesn't. I don't remember any of their parents being professional athletes. But now we're have, we're seeing it now come through, which is really good to see in the, in the latest game. You know, eventually, we'll hopefully we'll see Alex Morgan's kid. Hopefully we'll see... Um, uh, Crystal Dunn's kid. If if they do play, uh, if they do play um, football, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we'll see. And I was really fingers crossing that Serena Williams, because you know Serena Williams has a daughter, but she's got, probably gonna play tennis. Oh, she may play football, but Serena Williams is invested in the LA team with a lot of other celebrities. Um, what is it? LA? Is it the LA team? Yeah, I think it's the LA. One of the LA teams. Excuse me. I, I'm not. I think it's uh, the Angels, right? Is it the Angels or San Diego? Uh, I'm not too sure who all the celebrities are in with. I'm thinking it's L.A. The Angels. Is that the Angels? I'm pretty sure so. With all the celebrities, but that's that's the way. You know what I'm saying? Two celebrities now. They have a lot of the money now. They're like, oh, well, we should just all invest in a, a club, and it makes sense, right? To create your own club. If you stay out in LA, you know, that's you know, revenue. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and also looking at USA's team, we have some, I'm looking at the clubs, Portland, we have Portland out there, Washington out there, um, so look, four Washington players with Andy Sullivan, and yeah, Washington heavy in this USA squad right now, and you got, we got Mouse Swanson here for Chicago, um, who else is out here? Uh, Lavelle for Baby Leon, aka um, Lavelle and Sullivan. No, Lavelle and uh, Cook for Baby Leon, aka OL Rain. And then you have Gurma with the new San Diego team. Horta. Where does Horta play for? Goodness. Does she play for Portland? No, does she play for uh, OL Rain too? Yeah, so we got OL Rain in here. We got a little bit of Portland. A little bit of Chicago and then Washington. And so Olorain and Washington are the two heavy in this lineup. And I don't even know who our goalkeeper is. Who's our goalkeeper? Who? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who our goalkeeper is, but uh, she's got the number 18 on. I don't really recognize her. But it might be Murphy, someone. But we USA is also having an influx of tall goalkeepers. So six foot if you're six foot and up right now you're a goalkeeper you're you're wanted a, a, a lot of the leagues now they're they want tall goalkeepers you know and it makes sense like damn you cover you cover a lot more than the shorter goalkeeper it's just in general but hopefully you know what i'm saying you know I'm, but yeah yeah um <clears throat> so far you know i i think it's very difficult to USA is moving the ball really nicely. Um, you know, this quick, just getting it out, getting out the, the foot. I think, like I said, New Zealand, poor New Zealand is tough. They're going to be chasing them for chasing them around. <laughs> you know what I mean? They got energy to burn, uh, these youngins. And they got a lot, to, for me, they have a lot to prove. I mean, I feel like as a young player, like if you're young right now, like you're like, damn, I got, I, I have my, like my whole career ahead of you. We got to have a World Cup, you know, coming through, especially if they haven't played in the World Cup, which a lot of these players haven't. Like, I don't think Ashley Hatch was with them. I don't think, uh, Sa I don't know, was Sanchez with them? Rob? Was, 
I think so, I think Sullivan, Swanson, um, Dunn, and who else? Maybe Huerta. Maybe four or five players were with the World Cup team that are on the lineup right now, that are out here on the field, and then everyone else is going to be their first World Cup, right? First major tournament of their professional careers in, in that way. Global, like a more global, because World Cup is a global, um, what do you call it? Even, um, you know, the Olympics, it's a global thing where a lot more people tune in to these, these competitions than other competitions, like a Champions League or like a She Believes Cup, stuff like that. The global cups are like World Cup uh, and uh, the Olympics, right? But <clears throat> at the end of the day, whatever we pay attention, whatever we pay attention to, we make it, we make it pop, the currency pop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, is it saying that many people are too in there? <laughs> Make sure y'all go give me a follow on uh, uh, Anita's Joint YouTube and Twitch. I do have um, a lot more commentaries on my YouTube channel because you know Twitch amount of, you know a certain amount of days and then they dip out. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to check out some of those other commentaries, <clears throat> you can go check it out. I have other USA matches as well. Uh, but, um, and I haven't really been playing any games lately, but I do have a gaming channel. You want to go check that out as well. Oh, sweet. Okay. The raid came in, and I'm curious. I'll have to look. Oh, it's very interesting to know what other content creators create, you know what I mean? We got a water break here. Yo! Who's on New Zealand? All I know is Riley, and then they had, um, what's her name? The tall, she used to play, well, she played for, um, uh, Manchester, no, Melbourne City, um, excuse me, in the Australian, already Hurley, so, she plays for Melbourne City in the Australian League, but I don't even see her out here. So New Zealand, who y'all got coming through your ranks? So this should inspire a lot of the New Zealanders, you know, to hopefully we want to see who's making the moves to invest in their latest game. And, and like, I, I watch a lot of football from all over, all over the world. There's talent all over the world, but it's just like, okay, can we all, can, can they all come at one time? Which is very difficult to have. I'm not too sure if New Zealand have a league of their own for their ladies, but that helps. But we know Canada has won an Olympic gold medal without having a league of their own. But a lot of their players play in some of the best divisions, some of the best teams, or just they're getting a lot of minutes, a lot of reps. And overall, in general, when I look at, when I go back and watch, I look at the Can I look at the Canadian team, and then I lot I looked at the Sweden team, especially that performance against England. I'm like, no wonder y'all lost to Canada, y'all. But anyways, Canada, the sleeper in this in this World Cup, I think Canada is going to have a lot to say. USA, yeah, of course, but I, I'm sorry, y'all, I can't. It's like, it's really messed up to not root for USA. I want the ladies to have a great tournament, you know, but it's like, we have to have a new World Cup winner, y'all. Like, like, it's been back-to-back -back USA, like, World Cups, like, we have to have a new winner this year. And it sucks to say that. It's like, no, like I want, it's like, I want USA to do well, you know? Shit, I, we can say we want them to win, but it's like, how many stars y'all got on y'all shirt right now? Are y'all the best team in the world right now? Y'all lost to Canada. Y'all lost to Canada. Y'all lost to, one, y'all lost to Germany. And then y'all lost to Spain without their best player. So it's like, nah, you know what I mean? Like, uh, do you want to say the best player? Is the USA the best team? They're, I don't, they're still ranked number one, which is crazy. But, you know, anyways, I think Germany looked real well. Uh, England looked well. France, well. Uh, but I think Germany and England, Australia and Canada, USA, the Netherlands are, ugh. But right now, I'm kind of favoriting Germany. I don't know why. Even though they're, like, I don't want them to win either. Because they're a prior, they're, they won already. I'm looking for a new team to win. If it, if it was a new team of, if it was a new team that I would want to win, it would either be the Canadians or the Australians. It, it would be those two national teams. You know, now, if Spain get their duo, if, if Spain get all their 15 players that they 
they decided not to play. If they get those back, I would say Spain have a good opportunity. But we'll see about that. That's still up for grabs. And then everyone else, I just don't see the talent level. They don't have enough, like, Netherlands. Uh, you know, they're there. But without Amidaba, come on, fam. I don't see the Netherlands winning without Amidaba. Like, I just don't see it. Now, England, can they do without a Beth Mead? I feel like they have the quality, too. They have the depth, too. I mean, you got Chloe Kelly that can come in, you know what I'm saying? Like, the key to Paris. They have, a, they have depth in England. So, I do think Germany and England, France are, like, my third. Canada and Australia are right there, like, 5-6. And I would say USA because I really need to, I need to see what happens at the She Believes Cup. Because we're going to see Brazil, we're going to see Canada, and we're going to see Japan. All these three teams are in the World Cup. And Japan, ain't nobody talking about Japan. Japan's like, yeah, whatever. We're the only team really to beat America in the final. I'm like, no. I don't know if that's true, but we know we all saw USA lose to Japan. Um, <clears throat> but uh, Brazil, I think they're going to have some great matches. Hopefully they... Uh, and can It's always funny, every time... We have a tournament. We see Brazil and Canada together a lot. They apparently they vibe together real well. But um, you know, can, the Canadians are gonna have really. They're gonna think they're. And you know, I'll have a chance. Everyone should know they have a chance. Everyone should know that the door is open for this World Cup. Like for anyone to win, literally, you find good form. What you need to find good form and have like a good what what seven to six matches and i would say seven to maybe seven to eight matches and you know quality you know i'm trying to think like the group stage is probably four matches yeah seven to eight matches well, don't quote me on that number but to, and have a good stretch and hopefully you can bring home a, a world cup you know what i'm saying and have a star on your jersey next time you come out on the pitch um <clears throat> but um Oh, oh, as you see, this domination from USA, I don't really see New Zealand. I haven't really seen New Zealand in the other half just yet. But yeah, USA just dominating the ball. They look cool. This group looks very um, chill. I feel, uh, I feel like they just have a lot more athletics, athleticism than, than New Zealand. And they have a lot more quality out here on the field. Pace. You know, they got players that don't mind running up and down. Swanson. You have Swanson, Rodman. Good. Like, come. Like, like I said, this is like replay. This is what I tell y'all when I see Hemp and Rasso. It's like a Leroy Sane and a freaking uh, Raheem Sterling for Man City. You know, these two pacey wings. You know what I'm saying? And if we got Catalina back, oh my gosh. Like, you would say that would be a little bit, a little bit more like, I'm like, all right. I think Kat is a missing piece because she's, um, I don't know, I don't know if it, they overhyped her, but like, man, it really sucks that she got hurt. So I guess I have to just put it to the side, but she's still quality too, even though he be playing her in the wrong position. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it is unfortunate that she may miss this one. We ain't heard about Catalina. Where's she at? Where art thou, Catalina? Like, where you? you? You coming back anytime soon? I don't say all these players that tore their ACLs, will they make it back? Do you rush coming back? So, like, do you rush to come back for the World Cup? Do you? Like, do you? If you're healthy, are you going to still say, you know, if you don't play this season? Ooh, it's a goal. We got Rose Lavelle getting her goal. And listen, Rose Lavelle's assist to Alex Morgan, that back hill. I, was, I, I should have said it in my commentary, uh, in my recap. We need... 2019 goal scoring versus Netherlands Rose Lavelle back. Okay, we need that Rose Lavelle back. That Rose Lavelle. Because in the last prior matches, even when I was watching Ola Reign towards the finals, the playoffs, how they kind of were shit versus Kansas City current, she wasn't herself. So we need that Rose Lavelle back of 2019. You know what I'm saying? That Rose needs to come back. But she's been fighting injury too as well. And then also, you know, in a way, I hope that when she went to England, that she didn't play that much, you know? When she went to um, England with Sam Ewis, she didn't play a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I really hope that didn't really stunt her, like, growth and shit like that because she didn't play that much. And now I feel like she's playing for Oral Ray, and I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, that's great and all, but like, 
Ugh. It's a little rain, like, aka Baby Leon now. I'm like, no, like, you know, like Rose, you can, she used to play for Washington. I was like, it's like, man, she can go to another team and make it pop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Oral Rain are getting too many, like, they're getting overpopulated, you know what I mean? Like with midfielders, it's kind of it's getting a little uh, just like I think Portland's okay because a lot of their players are um, either left or they're kind of just still young, and they have a lot of uh, don't even get me started with Portland. Portland have so much drama. But um, I'm trying to think who won the championship this year. Portland it was so goodness. Oh yeah, Portland. Fucking a. <laughs> Portland. Yeah, Portland won the Indiviso championship this year. Ugh. Yeah, Portland's turning. Portland's starting to turn into Chelsea for me in a way, without the scandal, I guess. Chelsea without scandal, but Portland has lots of scandal. There's always scandals in America if you haven't realized. If you haven't noticed, especially if you're if you're not a Amer quote unquote American, you don't live in America. There's scandal. It's just in the realm of football in America, especially in the Vissel, It's just these last three four years have just been revelations of scandals. It's it it, it, it it's been crazy. And and my thing also. With the USA players is um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm happy in a way they're kind of getting back more to football because they've had so much off-field drama you remember when they were doing all that kneeling and stuff and the American flag were playing and all that stuff I'm so happy they're done with that propaganda and stuff and so we're kind of getting back to football aka watching the team develop getting to see the, the new players come in and there's not as much Drama with the USA team, but there's more drama with their professional, uh, their uh, pro clubs, right? Because I think most of the ladies here, out here on the field, they play in the NWSL. And, um, <clears throat> also I was reading articles as well, too. Like, well, I came across some articles and stuff like that, especially when I made the video about, you know, USA's best striker. Um... You know, Mia, the official, she's like, it's, this is going to be her second season with um, Digas. And she was going to get drafted by, uh, I think, um, Orlando Pride. But, you know, she chose to take her talents somewhere else. And so uh, she scored, you know, the, a lot of goals. <laughs> and she became the Golden Boot, but she didn't get called up to the America team just yet. And, and that's what I was saying. Like, did her not choosing to end up in cell, like, prevent black code from calling her up because my thing is you know with the since america's getting you know they got a new contract deal they signed a new deal a lot of these players need to hurry up and retire because honestly they're holding them spots they're holding them they're holding up, spot, they're, they're holding up spots for new players you know and sometimes i wish they had the the pay to play rule like the gentleman had instead of like salary you know what i mean like you don't even have to play to get a check because then it makes it the ladies I'm not saying the ladies you know they know they know what they do we stupid we stupid they hold they hold the spot like nigga you should have been retired like I would have never called you up like you ain't gonna help me win the team but since you salaried and since you're a more popular player and you know what I'm saying you bring a lot of attention with you the USA's I hate USA has to stop they they make the players too more, they too they need to stop doing that you know popularity shit like I hate the, I don't like that stuff it's, it, it it really does hurt the team because then we don't get to see the best players out there we get to see the most popular players out there and I'm just like she's shit like <laughs> like real shit like what is she out here for she she's decent but there's better players but since she's popular this win. I thought football was about winning matches, not fucking a popularity contest, right? But that's just based upon my observations. USA has to get away from that. Because as an observer, a real observer of the football game, we don't like that shit. Like, we don't, we can care, I can care less, bitch. Like, can you score the goal though? Can you make an accurate pass? And most of the time they can, most of the time they can. But sometimes you'd be like, you know, this she was just out here for a stunt. Like, Thompson, right? You know, when Thompson went to England, like, like, was that just a stunt? Because I'm pretty sure she ain't out here. You know what I mean? Like, why would you call up a young player? And is she, is she, I hope she's here with this USA team. 
Because why would you call her up just for one appearance and then, all right, put her away? Was that just a stunt? Like, you were saying, what are you doing? Like, y'all flunked out. But Thompson, she's a track runner. She's a track star, though, I hear. So more pace. You know, that's crazy pace. So I want to see her play. But I saw that she's a track star. So that's what's up. You know, more, like I said, more speed. USA is going to kill play, kill teams with their speed. Like, I, I'm looking at a lot of these teams. They don't. They ain't going to match up. Like, real, real shit. You think France is a fast team, too. So looking at some of these other teams, I'm like, USA is going to kill some of these these fullbacks. You have a Rodman and a Swanson. You got a, a Pew, a, oh, what's that said? A Swanson, I mean. Swanson, and you have Rodman. You got Smith. You got Hatch. You got Morgan. Like, you got Dunn. You got Fox. Like, there's some really pacey players. Um, and others that are probably pacey that I didn't, I didn't call. <clears throat> a lot of teams don't have that pace. Uh, and, and, you know, that's something that's going to benefit America just going forward in general. Um, as the players, of course, get more reps in, more time in to play, of course, with each other, and just continue to master their craft, right? And become better ballers. But, um, <clears throat> we got about three minutes left. Only two goals for USA in the first half, but they've been moving the ball real nicely. Like, not like you know what I'm saying? We're getting to see a lot of easy, like, we're seeing them flow through New Zealand very easily. Very easily, you know, and, um, you know, the pass, I feel, are crispy. Most of the time, they're going to them. And the defense is really not going to have too much trouble, you know. It's, it's just not, it, New Zealand's not the team to to test your defense on. New Zealand's the, the team to, like, okay, how can we score in a way? These are those, these, are these types of matches. I, like I said, a little prep match for teams like Brazil and Canada or Japan that could actually break you down, USA, and score, against, score on you. You know, I can't wait to see um, Canada, Japan, and Brazil and how USA, you know, you know, go out here and what lineup he brings out here. Because this one right here, this lineup, honestly, is not too bad. But like I said, they're playing New Zealand. Um, and it's like no shit to New Zealand, but it's just like, damn, no shit, New Zealand. Like y'all, y'all, when's the last time y'all was popping? Like, and it's not their fault. Their geographical location didn't invest into their ladies' leagues or in, invest in women's football because they're they were in a different space. Their their space wasn't in that space when America was, you know, developing their teams and stuff like that. And they were behind the scenes orchestrating stuff, you know. <clears throat> but uh, I'm trying to think. So we had uh, Ashley Hatch and. Rose Lavelle end up getting the goals, right? Towards Jim and I. Let's see. I'm trying to think also what type of other energies we have out here. But I like... I like the line. It's cool. It's cool. It's chill. It's chill. Uh, yeah, so... Um, it's just, it's, this is Gurma. She, she's pretty much... Looking at these are our, our, our two new center backs, Alana Cook and Gurma, you know? And so it's not a Becky Sauerbrunn and a, uh, what's her name? Uh, it's not a Becky Sauerbrunn or Christy Rampone center back partnership like we had. This is a whole, fresh face, fresh young ladies, you know what I'm saying? These, Alana Cook played a little bit, a little bit, played a little bit. We off for the second half. Like that, like that, like it's like clockwork. Lana Cook played a little bit with PSG, uh, and Gurma, she's fresh in Rookie of the Year, uh, I believe, for San Diego Wave. So I mean, and she's a Gemini, so I can't really like not not hate on her. You know, I mean, like okay, you got that Jimmy. You know, what I'm saying I'm a Gemini. If you have, if you don't know, I'm a Gemini sun sign. Uh, yeah, I know my. Well, you see my astrology wheel back there. But anyways. <clears throat> It's good to know the player's energies so you understand, well, what energies work together best on the field and why they could work together on the field and then also what you lack on the field based upon energy-wise, right? <clears throat> but, um... I'm trying to think, do New Zealand even have any shots on goal? The USA didn't take that many shots either. When I think about it, it was... so we got Fox coming in for Dunn. So Fox is eventually going to replace Crystal Dunn. Um, 
in that position. I'm trying to think. Sonnet is back as well. Um, she's going to be around for a little bit longer. Uh, she'll probably be... It'll probably be Emily Fox and Sonnet maybe on the as fullbacks. I got to see if that's where he's still playing her. If she's still playing fullback. Because I know she had gotten hurt. Uh, I forget what team she played for. I think she plays for Washington. Her and O'Hara. Yeah. Oh, man. Damn, Kelly O'Hara not here too. Like, a lot of OGs is gone now. It's crazy too. I was thinking about, like, you know. And then, uh, I think, uh, oh, I went through her legs. Uh, we're, we're gonna see who else they're gonna bring on the bench. I mean, bring off the bench. Uh, you see these passes? Just quick. And so, also, in the mix, you have... Well, Sullivan has, in a way, know her players, right? Because... Or know her teammates. She has Sanchez out here, Hatch, and Rodman out here. These are all her teammates. So, there's really no excuses for her not to understand how they play. Uh, Lavelle, of course, you know, should have the eye for the pass. Um, and then, you know... <clears throat> actually, Hatch has already got a goal. Fox on the left side today, having started on the right in the first half in match one, and then she. Okay, so it looks like he's putting he put Sonic back there with Cook. So she's uh I think she came out for uh Germa. So he has he has Huerta, Cook, Sonic, and Fox out here as defense, and so you know that I'm okay with that. You know I think Sonic is a little bit more reassurance because she's been with America with Cook. Because um, Gurma and Cook together in back line is very inexperienced. Even though, you know, Gurma's Rookie of the Year, it's still very inexperienced. Like, how many professional matches have you played with America? You know, more to, compared to Sonic. You know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, unlucky. Ashley Hatch here just poached it, poached it to the left. <clears throat> so... I, I, I'm okay with that sub too, and she's got to get back to fitness, so luckily she's come back at perfect time in the beginning of the Gregorian calendar new year. Damn, going, going in today. Uh, well done, well done. The precision to get it on frame. But Swanson continues <clears throat> to run in this oh, offsides here. Dominance. And that's crazy because I was just like, I was, uh, well, I was scrolling and then I was like, I saw this game someone posted and I was like, oh shit. I, mean, I was I was like, let me go ahead. I was like, I, need, I haven't done no football. I haven't talked. I have. What well, we watched yesterday? We, what was yesterday? Not yesterday. The day before yesterday, we watched uh, Man City versus um, what if Man City versus Bristol City and was a thrashing six nil for City getting the dub. Yeah, you see the balls on the ground a lot because the, they can get in behind New Zealand so easily. There's no reason to have the ball in the air if you can beat them on the ground. Um, and that's what USA have. And, of course, you abuse that. This is like FIFA. You cheat code. I can't, even though they're real people, but their sprint speed is like... I have to look and see what Mal and Trinity Rodman's sprint speed is on FIFA uh, when I... Um, when I play, because I think I think the teams are on FIFA. I think the U the national teams are on FIFA, uh, and also if you don't uh, the latest installment of FIFA, you could play as uh, the the French teams, and you could play as the English teams. And I can't wait. Hopefully they update it to soon. We have a career mode, because if we get a career mode, oh my goodness, that's so exciting. So exciting, like. That's so exciting with the leagues. You get to actually sign players you would like to sign. In a way, they gotta get like you know three, four, five, six teams. I mean leagues. Eventually they'll get them, but we're not. I'm not too sure who. If I'm pretty sure the next game may have more leagues. Um, cause and then what we really want is it's great to play as the teams, but we want to like a, a career. We want to be able to do the career just like the gentlemen. Get the commentary. All you gotta do, listen. Y'all already y'all had the same two commentators, Ian Wright or something something. 
uh, uh, you have the same two commentators FIFA for the gentleman's career mode. Just have the same two commentators for the ladies' career mode. And, you know, hey, that's a starting point, okay? It's a starting point. There you go. Have Alex Scott for fuck's sake for England, okay? Go ahead. Yeah, Alex Scott is in the game. So she, like, she she be, um, like, when you're playing the game in FIFA, she'll, like, come in, like, oh, someone scored and such and such such and such. They don't have her, like, actually commentating, which would be so badass. Like, but I don't, and actually, she's not really a commentator. She's kind of more like on the sideline, like, like in the box press person, halftime person. But then again, I don't know what her title is based upon. But you know, shout out to Alex Scott. She's a Libra. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Alex Scott is in the game too. So her voice is in there. She talks about, you know, who scored in other batches when you're playing the match. Uh, but yeah, I mean, fucking a. Do they need voice? Oh, do they need people? Do, does FIFA need to hire people to commentate the matches for the ladies? Is that a job title y'all need to create? FIFA or not FIFA? But whoever creates the next fucking football match, football game that has the ladies, like, cause you know, I mean, they, ooh, see the back of the net, too easy, wide open, Swanson here, getting the goal. Yeah, you know, Mal, she's just fantastic. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been talking about Mal ever since. I mean, ever since Mal came to the scene, bro. Ever since Mal stepped on the football field, like she's the goat. Like she's one of my hands that I'm one of my favorite players, and so is Roosevelt. And they have Taurus. They're both Taurus. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really enjoy them, uh, Roosevelt and, and Mal Swanson uh, now. Uh, and so, you know, this she's playing great. Mal, she's been. Honestly, the most consistent USA player I've seen. She hasn't even gotten hurt in like in a good minute, and um, you know, fingers crossed. But like, I think it was she has been around since was Jill Ellis or was it she? Did she end Jill Ellis or not end? But like, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, Mal was gonna go to UCLA, but she was like, ah, oh, I'm Gucci, so she went, she went, she went to Washington, right? And then she went, now she's with Chicago, right? After Sam Kerr left, right, right? Yeah, yeah, now I'm remembering. But yeah, Mal's awesome. Um, like you know, gotta she she's gonna be up there with Alex Morgan and and, and goals if she continues to elevate the way she has been elevating. Um, it she is hands down USA's. At the current moment, one of the, I would say the best, like, even though she only has 28 goals, she's, you gotta give her, uh, she, she's hands down, mm, the, uh, I would say the best USA player right now we have, I would say, I, I could say that, Mal, Mal Swanson is the best player USA have right now, yeah, I can, I can definitely say that, I can definitely. I can say that. Um, and Chicago really had a good team, you know. I, um, every time I see Chicago, I really like their energy. You know, they they play really nice. They got a really good midfield, but I think they did a lot of trades. So we're gonna see a totally different Washington team. Um, I think some t a lot of players kind of left in that midfield, but we're gonna see how everything's sh you know ships and shapes for them. And if so, in a way, it's kind of like wide open now with the two expansion teams and with different managers getting moved. And, you know, you even Houston, you know what I'm saying? Made the pl the postseason for the first time. Changes is happening in the NWSL in general. You know what I mean? And, um, and like I said, I'm trying to think who else is out here. Um, 54 minutes. This game has been going like shoom, shoom, zoom, zoom, zoom. Like, I feel like I've been flying. <laughs> no pun intended. Ten minutes gone in the second half. And his sonnet. And so the Sheba Leafs Cup is going to be next month. And literally next month is like a couple days away. And I believe it's going to be like... Like in the middle of February. Ah. Olivia Chance chasing down the left side. Alana Cook trying to get there as Gabby Reddy puts the pressure on. Okay. Yeah, like you know, say so stuff like that. Like the pressure from the New Zealand players really weren't gonna do that. And you see how immediately they're just immediately kicking it up forward because they know that their their teammates could probably can beat them the other players to the ball. You know, it it's immediately like kicked up there, like immediately. There's uh, Roosevelt. 
looking for a s oh my goodness she fell oh my goodness is this riley here on the ground so riley's the most popular new zealander that we know about she stay she stays in the states i forget what team she plays for though um but yeah she's the captain as you see she's the og for new zealand she, and um you know, well accustomed with the American NWSL League. I think she's been around for a while. Did she get stepped on? Mmm, she might have. Of course, we get we get so many replays of the stepping on. Of course, so many. Uh, yeah, it looks like she got her hand got stepped on. Maybe, unfortunately. Ouch! Ouch! Bam! Ouch! That's the last thing you want. Like you could do with the ankle. Well, I don't know. She probably would probably want her hand. We well, don't know. If you play football for a living, would you want your feet to get hurt or your hand? Probably your hand, right? But you don't need your hand to play football, right? But in general, just in life, your hand is very necessary. Is very useful. It's very necessary. You know, you can't forget, like, when these players get hurt, you know, they still have a real life, you know what I'm saying? They still gotta go, you know, to, like, get up out the back. They still gotta go get, go to the locker room and change their clothes, you know what I'm saying? Like, they leg, they gotta put their they pants over they, they calves, you know, real shit. Real shit, don't forget that shit. That shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, they still gotta, oh, damn. I gotta, I gotta do this? It was all, ac we call this accidental contact. That's what we call it. And it was accidental contact. Right? This very rough accidental contest. But it's accidental. She didn't mean to step on her. You know? But uh, yeah, you know, who else has been popping? I would say the next best player that's been real popping for America besides Mal. I'm trying to see who. Oh, she she missed the fin from San from Sanchez. Uh, <laughs> I think she missed it. I'm not too sure. I would say. Man, I had their name on the tip of my tongue. Who have we been seeing consistently just like Mal with the USA team? I was going to say Haran, but she kind of like, uh, she got hurt. And I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm thinking. I want to say, I don't know why I want to say maybe fourth though. So I'm pretty sure she's been healthy. And then everyone else, I think Sullivan got her. But her thought she, we, are, we got some subs here. Lynn Williams, Knorky, and then um, another player. I get to see her face at that moment. Riley puts it into touch on the far side and uh, Hatch was coming back from Oh the yeah, side. also I made the video of course with the recap with the USA in the first match. We'll talk a little bit more about Lynn Williams when she comes on. Shout out to her, she's a Gemini as well. You know, we got a lot of Jimmy energy on the USA team. I don't know, maybe that's why they're they're <laughs> It's good to have mutable energy when you're going through changes. So you can flow. They make the, the they make the adjustment easier. It's not as chaotic or stagnant as it, it was. A lot more movable energies around this USA team now. More movable pieces in a way because they're all in a way young. Like most of them don't even. I say majority of them don't have. Mm, I'm trying to think. I think it said uh, most of them don't have over 60 caps. Okay, so we got Mewis, Konorki, and Lynn Williams. Okay, so shout out to Mewis, former Houston Dash player. She plays for Gotham now. Konorki, I think she's playing. She's like the new, not saying she's into Sam Mewis, but they're similar in stature. Uh, Konorki, she plays, I think she's playing for San Diego Wave now, but I'm still kind of trying to get you, this is the Ashley Hatch goal, easy, easy, uh, you see Rodman here with her left foot, really good cross in, to her teammate, Washington Spirit teammate, and USA teammate, Ashley Hatch, Gemini to Gemini connections, you already know the telekinesis is always on point, you know what I'm saying, 
All right. So Ashley Hatch gets uh her the first goal, and then she's coming off for I'm guessing I don't know Mewis, but and then we'll see how the the lineups are. Sullivan is going to come off for Konorki, I guess, or Lynn Williams. It don't really matter. But yeah, uh, so Lynn Williams and she scored her goal, so she's back in fine form, getting a goal. And Konorki, like I said, she's a midfielder. Uh, you know, she's a tall, physical presence. You can't like, how would you? You got if you have Sam Mewis and Konorki out here on the field together, you're like, damn, like how many they need? They're gonna win every aerial battle, like real shit. <laughs> and so, so now you put that on USA with the speed. Oh my God, like God, like Jesus, like that. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Now you got twin towers out here on the field and speed, bro. Bro, this this looks like 9/11 all over. I'm saying, I got you. I got you. Anyway, yeah, I do believe uh, that. Anyway, that's just not that could work. You know, you got people, you got pacey wings, and you have two tall midfielders. I mean, and if they're good and they can distribute, you're on your way, America. But um, uh, Lynn Williams, yeah. So I thought I thought Kansas City Courage, Kansas City Courage. Kansas City Current, we're going to do, you know, they signed, of course, they had Lynn Williams and Sam Mewis, and they both got hurt, and they, I guess they, they traded Lynn Williams on draft night. I didn't even know that they traded her, because I was so excited with Houston signing um, Diana. I was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm over here in Houston's world, but North Carolina Current, uh, Kansas City Current, they were like, all right, we're going to go ahead and give uh, Lynn Williams to Gotham. For um, some picks, I believe. Um, I think that's what they got, right? What the fuck? I forgot what the fuck they got. I think they got a pick, the second pick, or something like that. They got a pick for they got something for Lynn Williams, of course. But I really thought they were gonna have the big three again, like North Carolina Courage. You had Dabinia, <laughs> Sam Lewis, and of course uh, Lynn Williams. But you had Christy Hamilton and Co. and you know other people. But I really thought there that was the big three that they were going for. And I was like, damn, that's you know that's fucked. That's not right. That's not right. Kansas over. I was like, are we gonna allow Kansas to do this shit right here? Like, are they really about to have them have the big three back? I'm like, uh, this is kind of scary. But um, it's a great signing to get the Binia. I'm surprised Gotham let go of. I'm sorry. I'm. <sighs> In a way, I'm kind of. In a way, it's kind of shit for Lynn Williams having to leave. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, like, were y'all, y'all gonna trade me the whole time, nigga? Like, after I got healthy, like, y'all gonna trade me, nigga? Like, was y'all planning this shit? Like, was, like, nigga, like, damn. Then again, we don't know. Did she want to get traded? Did she? Did she? Did she want to leave Kansas? I don't know. Like, sorry, you know, shout out to Lynn Williams. Um, you know what I'm saying? But Gotham got a great player, you know? Uh, they have Mewis, uh, they have, uh, who else they got out there at Gotham? Um, now you got Lydia, you got Lynn Williams now, bitch! You know what I'm saying? And they, and they have Houston's former manager, uh, Carlos, uh, Gemini, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was kind of salty Carlos left, I'm like, really? But I think we snagged a great manager, the, oh, AKA Baby Leon assistant manager, Sam, right? So I think we got a great. I think we had a one, even though I was really hyped that Carlos had experience in Spain and stuff just like that. And in England, I thought he was gonna be like, you know, I was gonna see what he's gonna bring. But he didn't stay at Houston too long. You know what I'm saying? He he decided to go to New York. I'm like, okay, really? I guess they offered him a lot more chunk of change than Houston could. You know what I'm saying? He saw. He, and so hey, I guess, bro. I'm happy that he didn't go to like a male team because then I would've been salty. But he went to uh, Gotham. And also, Mark Parsons, the former Dutch manager who had a trash performance, they, they, what, there's another team that hired him as a head coach? I'm just like, if he couldn't get it done with fucking the Dutch, why do you think he couldn't get it done with this team? Honestly, I don't be understanding some of these people's, uh, whoever be, I forgot who he's managing for now. Hold on, let me see this. Like, no shade, like, no, no shade, but he, he, I'm not saying he had the best team with the Dutch team, but he just didn't, he couldn't figure it out, and honestly, the Dutch didn't give him that long either, and honestly, can you blame him? No, you know what I mean, can you blame him? Oh, let me see where this guy's playing at, uh, uh, who, who's he managing now? What? 
Yeah, but he's British, right? So he's going to be managing... Um, right, so he managed the, the Dutch for a little bit. And then now he's going to be managing the Washington Spirit, who fired their manager too. And Washington Spirit fell off hella quick after they won their championship, which was pretty crazy, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so I'm just like, really? Like, and that's my thing too, also. Like, they, in the so y'all, I have shitty record of hiring managers. So I'm just like, give new managers opportunity. Like, how many, like, that's my thing, like, we won't have more different managers if these clubs don't give opportunities to new people, new individuals, new spirits, new new coaches. Even though I don't think you need a degree or to take any tests to become a professional coach, but nowadays you have to have a degree and license and license A, B, C, D, F, G to coach uh, A, B, C, D, FIFA or you, whatever. You have to have all these licenses to coach soccer, football. To teach the ladies how to, oh, wait, that doesn't make any sense, but that's how the shadow government works. But you need a license to do everything nowadays. But I, I don't really, it would have been nice to see a different uh, manager because I'm just like, I'm just, look, if I'm watching, I'm like, bro, why would we, we just had a, a awful, if I'm watching, I'm like, dude, we just had an awful season. We're former champions and we just, we, I think they were second to the bottom of the table or something like that. And they, they had a bad season. And then we're going to hire a manager that literally just got fired from the Dutch because he had a bad couple. Like a, He didn't do well. I think he had to go to the Euros, right? And it was his first. They didn't, Like I said, they didn't give him long. And in a way, I, I don't mind it. If I'm the Netherlands, I'm like, he, he couldn't get it done. And I, don't, I didn't really watch the Netherlands that much. But it is what it is. So Washington still was like, hey, he's the best fit. What? Washington? You're crazy, Washington. What y'all smoking over there? What y'all smoking? Washington, what y'all smoking? What y'all smoking? Y'all just y'all just want another play a manager that was already used to the chaos? Or could you, and that's my thing. Do managers even want to coach in the NBA something with all their drama? Like, I don't know if I even want to step foot in there. Like, hold on, nigga. I gotta be a coach where? In the NBA, you know what? And there was something like someone scandal? Am I gonna be because you never know like what you're about to walk into, like that environment still probably toxic as fuck. When you think about it, they're like, oh my goodness. So I guess you get someone that's probably familiar with the toxicity and shit like that, and you'll be like, alright, whatever. But shout out to Mark Parsons. I'm talking my shit. I don't care. I'm talking my shit, okay? <laughs> but I feel like, you know, oh boy. <laughs> I feel like they could have done better, Washington. Either you know, whatever. I feel like y'all could have done better. <laughs> we got more shots from New Zealand. Shout out to everyone I'm still tuned in. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean? The, um. <laughs> but it's three nil. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. For like the game. Uh, and we just commentate over the game. Um, but New Zealand have a nice uh, environment. Looks like it. And I think that they're like very, very um. I don't to say New Zealand's like Hawaii, but like I get similar tropical islands vibes from them, right? They got like, um, they got interesting, uh, culture, right? Okay, so we got a corner kick here for New Zealand. The captain. I'm thinking that's Murphy in the sticks, but, um... Roosevelt trying to get through. Ooh, goodness, he got laid out. Mm accidental contact with Rodman looks like, that. like <laughs> and a yellow card oh no maybe it wasn't accidental <laughs> uh, apparently also USA's uh, what you call it jersey might have got leaked I I won't probably won't buy another jersey I already have my I have the I have the jersey with the four stars 
I got that. I, it's it's similar to that one. Oh, Lynn Williams with the yellow. It's similar to that one, but it's different. I think it's the gold one. It's the one they have it. It's the gold one. It's the one with the gold in the middle. Yeah, the USA shirt. Um. <clears throat> Yeah. All right, 20 minutes left. New Zealand, unfortunately, you know, lack creativity, lack goal scores. They need a lot of help, you know. They need some superstars in general. And, you know, they need um, to attract. They need to, in a way, you have. It's real difficult. It's like, how does a superstar get born, right? They're like, the universe is like, here, we're going to gift you with, like, and that's the thing how are New Zealand in general in like sports in general like is that something that that geographical location focuses on you know what I mean do they have the luxury or wealth to be able to invest in the sports academic realm you know what I mean so when you look at USA and England and France and Germany and you look at these teams aka when you look at these teams these geographical locations actually have invested energy currency time into developing a league or just developing a national team they want their national team to and of course make money profit and of course uh, you know be able to harness energy and all that good stuff but usa canada J usa germany france these big big teams the teams that have lots of uh, stars in their jersey right have invested the majority have invested a lot more than the other clubs or other geographical locations and they had the luxury to put so much because you think about when i think about sports in america it's such a big thing like and so much money is funded into sports entertainment you know what i'm saying and um in a way you know i think about you know I think about a lot of things. <laughs> I think about a lot of things, but that's where we're at. If your geographical location is doesn't have the luxury or wealth to be able to invest in the sports realm, and now we're getting even more Pacific to women's football, I mean, it's difficult, you know? If you don't even have money for your basketball team, you think you're going to have money for the women's football team? You know what I mean? And how they talk about the ladies' game still, you know what I mean? Like, think about it. Like, it's not good. It's still, it's still growing. Here's a goal. Rose Lavelle gets her second. Easy goals, right? Easy goals. Not too hard setups. Really easy finishing. Tap-in goals, right? Tap-in goals. These have been all tap-in goals. I don't remember. None of them, I mean, none of the goals really had to be too... <clears throat> And especially, there's no pressure on, on there's no pressure on the on the ladies this these games. You know, the pressure is gonna be on during the She Believes Cup. So, like I said, these are for them to get kind of get their jitters out. Like, all right, all right. In a way, because to me, I just don't get that. Ooh, this is a pre war. This is like a pre World Cup football match. Like when I watch, I'm like, this is, this is a friendly fam. This is just a friendly USA out here just gonna win two games in New Zealand easy. Just a case of getting they, they came for the show. Hey, New Zealand, we here. Thanks for coming seeing us. You know, we're going to come back here like a couple more months, you know, beat New Zealand again. And we'll see you. You know, here, you just get to see us early. Hey, New Zealand. The ladies get to tour, see what New Zealand's like a little bit. Check out their hotel they may be staying in. Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just like a... You know, kind of like, okay, let's pre-plan before we pre-plan. You know what I mean? And so this is why New Zealand, I feel like y'all have to show us something this in the next match. And also, I have another thing. If these matches are in Australia and New Zealand, are y'all going to be up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning to watch the ladies play? Because I'm very curious. Like, that's difficult. Like, I'm mean, like, sure, like, that's early, like. Three in the fucking morning? USA. Let me just make sure. See, they play Canada. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, hold on. The She Believes Cup. Right here. Oh, yeah. I might have messed up on the time then. Wait, what's the Women's World Wait, this ain't the Women's World Cup. What the fuck is this? Vietnam, Netherlands, and then... <clears throat> oh yeah, so the She Believes Cup 
Be, be, be. Be, be. Okay. One of her teammates up top, but the ball just won't stick there for New Zealand. And now a free kick given as Swanson is fouled. July, July, July. So the, the World Cup starts in July 21st for USA. In comparison to what we saw. Nice. And then they play Netherlands. Have you seen Okay, so the matches aren't at 3 in the fucking morning. Thank goodness. So, USA versus Vietnam is going to be at 8 p.m. Okay. In, uh, USA, Netherlands, 8 p.m. And then the only match that says it's quote-unquote at 2 a.m. in the morning is an August 1st match. So, we will see if that time stands. But, that's the only 2 in the fucking morning match I see. Because I was just thinking, I'm like, damn, that's... Who's going to be up that? Who's gonna be up there? Like, you know, we ain't gonna be able to watch them. And it better not be on HBO Max. That sh no, no, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be like on Fox or like, uh, I think it's gonna be on Fox or Fox Sports 1 or something like that. The Ford Cup. Uh, <laughs> but USA play, um, the, the next match for USA after this one is gonna be against, Can uh, against Canada, which should be a banger. February 14th. So, that should be. A really really fun match to watch. Uh, February 14th is on a Tuesday. Nice. And so you know the Canadians finally. The Canadians. We got a good good match. Wow. Shout out to everyone still tuning in. Sam, I know a lot of y'all left. But shout out to those that are sticking around for the rest of the commentary, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but um, 4-0 here, there's uh, Lynn, uh, Lynn Williams here. Graham Winkworth, the head coach at Arizona State, telling us that Gabby Rennie is a really great team. Uh, now with this team out here, mm. like I said, we just don't have to wait till Canada pull up. We don't have to wait till Canada. It's already 12 minutes left, man. USA dominated the whole match. Did you? They are the whole match. down the right side as Anna Green comes across. Did she get the ball or did she get Swanson? We're we going to get a card here. Are we getting uh, a, a free kick awarded? Let's see. Mal, um, let's look. Uh, she, she just fell hard, too, on her back, too. Trying to look. It looks like she, do, she doesn't get the ball, you know? It looks like she kicked her own leg, and I think that's a yellow card. Um... Crowd announced of 12,721. The referee didn't even give a yellow card to her, but she gave her to gave one to Lynn Williams. Referee, I, you need glasses? No, no, uh, no VAR here in this match, probably. The ref probably called it. No, she tackled her late, and didn't she? She didn't even give her a foul. Actually, it's just gonna be a corner kick. The referee, sideline referee. Oh my goodness, they need some assistance. They need some extra assistance. But anyways, thankfully Mal's okay, cause you know if she got her oh, fingers. No, nah, fuck that shit. That'd be awful. Uh, Rose, uh, looks like Rose gonna take this. She got two goals today. She got. Oh, it's easy. See, this Koroki. She's like tower of power. Look, part two. Look how tall she is. She's like six six foot, right? I'm five eleven. All right. I'm almost six foot. I wish I was. That'd be pretty cool. But anyways, yeah, too easy. Who's gonna guard her? She like the win Wendy Renard. Hey, look at her wide open. Like, oh, ain't nobody gonna mark her? Nah, we good. Nah, we good. Nah, I'm Gucci. They're like, how how did how you not mark her? How how you not mark her, New Zealand? How you not know the ball not gonna go to her, New Zealand? New Zealand. She's the biggest player on the field. How you not gonna mark her? That's that's what we call shite defense. Okay, I don't understand. She got the Abby Wambach shirt on. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> she got the number twenty. She got the Abby. I'm surprised Abby shirt. I, they, I'm surprised USA hasn't retired anybody's jerseys. And honestly, 
I thought they did um Harley Lloyd, but if they may have not, but honestly, I'm okay with that. I feel like in a way, like no t no number should be retired. Like bitch, you another oh, excuse me. I don't think it's very interesting to like just to know like some people get their numbers retired based upon you know what they did for that team and you know their impact. Uh, but in my opinion, since it's a sport, I mean, if you retire all numbers, what are you telling me I can't be this number because another nigga wore the number before me when I before I was even thought of? Like I, you know what I mean? But then again, that's just me being. It, it is what it is. I, I really don't have, I guess. I feel like you should be able to wear any number if you want to. You know, I don't, I don't think they should retire numbers. But if they, if you do get lucky to have your jersey retired, and no one ever to wear your jersey number until like eons later, they're like, oh, first time ever, we're we're gonna like, we're gonna let you, you wear this jersey number because that sets up such some witchcraft ritual or some you know some weird reason like that <clears throat> they may un unretire the jersey <laughs> but um yeah easy goal from Konorki I mean ugh, she was open like did y'all not y'all saw that right okay Okay. I'm happy we saw that. I'm still waiting for Morgan Garat to come back to USA's national team. I don't know why. I'm just a huge supporter of her. I think, uh, but it looks like she's gonna. I don't, it don't look like she's ever gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? I think USA is done with her, unfortunately. Even though she's one of my favorite players too. You know, I feel like that was like 2015, 2019 USA USA team, especially that 2019 team. That was, that, that. I'm trying to think. 2019, 2015 was pretty crazy too, but I think 2019 World Cup team, even with everything happening, we we got killed, COVID happened, everybody died, the end of the world happened, with all that stuff happening. I think that was... And I think that's when I fell in love with Netherlands, and then... Um, yeah, a lot of things changed in my realm, in general during that time like I literally moved out here to where I'm at now so like a lot of things happened during that well actually I was already out here actually but a lot of shit happened right 2019 right a lot of shit a whole lot of shit we made it we made it we made it man I thought it was time fast that fast like it's already 20 um, quote unquote 2023 based upon the Gregorian calendar. Oh my goodness. <sighs> but um, I took my hair down too. Out, out the uh, out the style I had. It's really curly. I really like it. I was like, oh shit, I can rock it for a little bit, a little bit longer, and then probably style it again. But my hair is getting long. My locks are getting long. Shit, I had these. I had these since uh. Her, her I moved out here 20 oh my goodness and you're seeing her yeah I say 2019 2020 Swanson, I'm trying to think yeah 2020 I had the I got had the, so these are three years long y'all check that out that's what I'm talking about <laughs> but I already had long hair in general I had long hair in general well, my hair is like in in locks not in locks but in braids already so it was already long I had a lot of hair so but yeah, I'm really happy about how everything's turning out with my luck journey. You know what I'm saying? But I've never really been like a, a huge, like, I never really liked like fucking with my hair like that. But now that I'm a, a lot, I'm not old, now that I'm, you know, older, it's like, ah, this isn't like, damn, my hair look good as shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You know what I'm There's a lot of things I didn't know there was. There's a lot of styles you can do with the hair, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm like, damn. <laughs> but a uh, hydration break or water break at the 85th minute moment? Oh, uh, okay. Or it's a player down. The player's down. Is this purse out here? Is she out here on the field, number 11? I think this is a hydration break at the 85th minute. And at the moment, potentially back to back clean sheets. <laughs> oh, that's what happened. La Lavelle, Haran went back to to France. They should have just kept her ass in France. I don't understand why she even came out here to New Zealand. They were just gonna have her for one match. 
Flunked out, bro. Flunk. Leon flunk. They should just like flunk. Leon, you flunk, bro. You flunk. Leon, don't even get me started. Uh, and Leon's on top of the group right now, y'all. In France, I'm kind of salty about that because Paris dropped points in the in the in the in the second match coming back from break. I was real salty to see that Leon on top of the table again. Uh, but. Let me tell y'all, when I talk, when I do a commentary on Leon's match, we got some shit to talk about. And we got some shit to talk about when it comes to, like, why the f- We- we gotta understand. I gotta understand. Ye Leon are still- I guess I can talk about it right now. Leon are still attracting the best talent. Like, they not only got Catalina, America's best potential talent, they fuck around and got the best Haitian talent. Like, really? Like, they're still attracting these young players, Kat and, 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 and uh, Michelle, uh, I'm, I, because of, you know, all the accolades that they have, all the Champions League that they had, you know what I'm saying? So, what is it about Lyon that these players see besides the Champions League? Because then, I'm like, okay, these other clubs got to do better of getting these players, because, you know, you, you can't keep allowing Leon to grab the best players potentially in the fucking world they're gonna you know what I'm saying like and even though they do grab the best players kind of like sprinkled all over the world that formula has worked for them how many Champions League have they had when will the teams wake up and realize oh we can't keep allowing them to poach the the, the potential greatest players it, like, like we, we can't keep letting them do that. Like, okay, we need to figure something out. So these big clubs that have lots of money, they need to do better. Yeah, how about you put a team together that can fucking win a Champions League and that, you know what I'm saying, real shit. But you know how this, you know how we be. Um, Leon are fucking defending Champions League champions again. Even though they look a little iffy this year when it comes. I mean, they look, they look iffy, but then I'm, I'm looking at their team right now. Lynn Williams. Push it wide. I'm looking at the team right now. I'm like, ooh, it's getting a little spicier now. It's getting a little more stacked. I'm just like, god damn, here they go again. Every time you count Leon out, you're like, and then they, I'm starting to look at their team like, hold on, they, they got a good little team out here. Like, what the fuck is this shit? I'm like, they got oh, shit. Oh my god. Especially, I mean, their league is not as competitive. Only when they play, you know, Paris and some other teams. But when you look at it, they, had, they get to conserve a lot more energy than some other clubs do when it comes to, you know, a tough, a big, having to exert a lot more energy just to get three points because the league is tougher. Lyon and, and, and Paris, you know, the, in a way they don't have to, and I'm not saying they don't have to exert that much energy, but, you know, they're not playing consistently teams like Chelsea, Arsenal, United, Manchester United, you know. Teams like that, you know, Washington Spirit, Oil Rain, Portland Thorns, stuff, teams like that, you know what I'm saying? Teams, other teams are playing, you know, consistently. And I'm talking about over a time period, five, four, six years straight. Like, and when Leon went, like, on a, they, Leon won five Champions League in a row, I believe? Fucking five? How the, the fuck you won five Champions Leagues in a row? My God, damn, that's crazy, bro. I think about it. They literally have dominated that fucking um, tournament. They've dominated that tournament. And. But they haven't. But all that success has not trickled to France, which is like. I think it's due to the manager partly. Because she has bad frequencies with some players, some of the GOATs. And then. Ooh. Ooh, good save. And Mal's gonna have a second goal. <laughs> But, um, or it could have been even worse for New Zealand. I think once France get rid of their manager, they may have a, um opportunity at a World Cup. The same with Spain. If they get rid of their manager, they get all their players back, too. So, honestly, Spain's so... It's gonna be really suck. If this World Cup, we don't have Spain's best players, I'm really gonna be salty. Like, I'm, I'm like, real shit. Like, real shit. Like, real, real shit! Real shit! I'll be salty as fuck. Because, like, Spain is... It, I know it's oh my gosh I know oh, fucking man, they're using everything for everything but when you look at the Spain team and you look at what they have done like in this short amount of time what Barcelona have done captured us captured our eye 
uh, captured our hearts too with their football style. I mean, it's gonna really blow Spain if 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 they can't get these ladies back on the field, you know. And um, they're really gonna literally. It's like to the ladies that were like, "Fuck no, we're not gonna play for this guy." It's like you know, they're literally you know, t uh, saying like, "Say George never has to leave." Are they gonna sacrifice their their Spanish career to not play for him? That's a big ass statement, especially because there's a lot of players. So honestly, that controversy is very interesting to see how this is gonna play out, because I mean, I know I mean it, Alexa coming back. I think she's gonna be an influential factor. I wonder how they're gonna play that, because if she comes back before the World Cup for Barcelona. And if she's not with Spain, well then, she's one of the 15, which I think she's probably one of the 15 players. But, they could be like, no, she ain't coming back this year. And then, you know, all the ladies, I'm not saying they're sacrificing their career just because of her, but they could be like, you know, our Balladay don't, our Balladay don't player is not even going to be here. Like, bitch, why would we even come? You know what I'm saying? Girl, shit. So all the other players that are going with Spain that, you know, got called up, they're going to be like, you know, in a way, it's it, it, it's very tough situation if you're a Spain. Spain national team player and, and as an observer looking in I'm just like I'm so sorry ladies like y'all have the potential of being a really really good team and the fact that y'all have this drama around your management is I'm so sorry because like what well, this is something you're not supposed to have to deal with like going into the World Cup season like damn are we gonna play for this shit manager and we don't even know what's going on we just hear that he's toxic you know what I'm saying <laughs> You just hear that he's just bad, or just they just don't want him to man. They don't. <laughs> he's just bad juju. You know what I'm saying? He's bad juju, and so he's been there for a minute too, just like the French manager. She bad juju. You know what I'm saying? So, and I talked about this multiple times uh, before in different commentaries, but since the World Cup is going to be shortly here approaching us, and uh, I guess like seven months, but anyways, less than a year, yeah. Spain. This will be so. It's just disappointing as an observer to see like such a talented team with Spain's best players just not even be there. Like it's like, gosh, it's it's it, This is going. If if this stays the way it is, this will blow. This is going to be a huge blow to Spain because you never like four more years, nigga. Four more years. You gotta wait four more years to go to the World Cup again, and we don't even know how the players will be in four years. Hopefully, they're still quality, but they're not gonna be how they are right now. You know what I'm saying? You, they may they fuck around. They may be better. You know what I mean? We never know. But <coughs> they have really Spain when they put the Real Madrid and the Barcelona team together. It's a pretty decent team. You know, they have really good players when you put them together, and some other pieces involved so and it's super talented they're super talented you know uh so man you saw the game versus england they all we all saw the game versus england that was a fantastic match uh and they didn't even have their best player you know what i'm saying so spain is such a just a sad story it's gonna be just another sad story in the women's football um book if it happens the way that way and it, like i said let me just say it one more time what, this could be Spain's only chance to win a World Cup right now, and they might blow it. Like, real shit. Based upon, you know, not listening to your employees. A.K.A. the ladies. The, your, uh, the team. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of that, a lot more of this is coming into the forefront, too. Like, the ladies are still employees. They work for someone. And a lot of the, and, and we're seeing that a lot being brought to the forefront a lot more. And them finally voicing their opinions and stuff like that. And standing up for what they believe is right. They believe that they should be protected, especially in the Bissell, stuff like that. But yes, holy shit. 95 minutes later, USA end up winning 5 0. Too easy. Yeah, USA end up winning. 5-0. Honestly, overall, when I think about the match, I mean, too easy, bro. Like, y'all saw the light. The next matches are going to be the ones that we get to see USA hopefully shine, and we get to learn a little bit more in depth of, you know, how they could potentially line up in the World Cup when they face uh, Canada the 16th, and then, of course, uh, I think they're playing Japan. 
and then Brazil or Brazil then Japan. I don't know, but really, really spicy teams. Um, <clears throat> I thank everyone for tuning in to Anita's joint. Hashtag extended joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high. Find out of this third dimensional reality. And I'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.